Hey guys, Steve from PC Bunch of Solutions here bringing my very first unboxing. It really shouldn't be my first because I've done a lot of computer builds recently, but I always forget to do the unboxing part. So, and also, I'm not a very big in front of the camera guy, so all my stuff's gonna be behind the camera. Yeah, I should probably hire somebody that's in front of the camera, I know. So, right here, I got two fans from Cougar. So, I like these fans, I've been eyeing them up for a while. They use a hydraulic bearing, I think these are four, four phase motors still. But they're supposedly supposed to be very quiet, very powerful, and actually have very good static pressure in comparison to a lot of other fans on the market. I got the 140 and the 120 fan. Let's flip over the 140 and see what they have to say about it. So they're talking about, because of the way the fans are angled, we're talking, they call it a dual layer rigid blade blade design which offers i guess up to two times the airflow of course we all know how accurate can that be not 100 percent sure i've yet to actually test them they are using a three pin connector i uh, also have a molex connector which i will be using and it uses this is the big thing the hydraulic bearing technology so i guess that's what enables it to be quiet and also have very good longevity because these things do come with a relatively long warranty and I also wanted a fan that looks cool. I mean, that's why nobody ever buys Noctua NFF 14s or 12s. Great fans, but if you have a window side panel, you're probably not using them. So, take it out of the box here. We'll look at the 14-inch um, the first. So, one thing I like about this particular fan is this right here. I would like some rubber here for vibration, but if if you, if you screw it right to the, to the panel, it's not going to vibrate. You'll be fine. Um, but I like being able to have access either way right here. I don't like when they put this long little pipe here. That's a personal preference. Also, another thing is this cable sleeving. Is it the best cable sleeving in the world? No. However, getting a fan that has black sleeve cables, granted the cables I believe are already black. Yes, they are. Um, it's definitely a plus. I mean, these are not cheap fans. They are 20 bucks, so you're almost at a cost of an FF12 or an FF14. But, um, you know, these are blue LED fans, but even if they weren't LED, I still like the fact that they're blue. They work really well with my case. So, um, you know, that's why I chose them. I actually had a 20% coupon. That's why I went with it. So they do come with Molex connector from 3-pin, which I will be using, and screws. How many we got here? Oh, they have the rubberized things right here. So that'll actually make up for not having rubberized grommets here. Because when you have, even if this thing moves around on rubber, you're going to have no vibration. Because rubber was worth vibration. So I definitely like that. Plus one to Cougar. Um, one thing I will say is I did have a 20% coupon. So I got these two fans and those two fans for 60 bucks. Definitely a good deal. I'm currently taking the 12-inch the one out. As you see the box fall through. So very similar design. You have the sleeve cables, which again, I'm definitely a fan of. Having a sleeve cable on a fan, it's not the best sleeving. It's not individually sleeved, I understand that. But it also makes it a lot easier in case you can't quite hide them as well as you would like. So, you know, definitely props to Cougar again for that. Now, their twin blade design. I like this a lot here. As you see, this is going to be more so, if I'm not mistaken, set up for pressure optimize. That's what these blades do. So you're not going to get the pre pressure optimization of a Noctua NFF12 or NFF14. You're not going to get quite as much pressure as, say, an SP120 Performance Edition. But you do get more pressure than a Quiet Edition. This thing is quieter. It does move more overall air. So this is a very good hybrid fan that's, that's supposedly quiet. I, I am going to be testing it. And if I find otherwise, I will definitely make a video on it. But these things are decently pressure optimized for radiators. It has very good airflow, I believe. The smaller one's about 66. And this fan's in like the 85 range, if I remember, for CFM. So definitely moves a pretty good amount of air. And I believe the bigger fan is 18 dBA. The smaller fan is 16.6. Um, 1,000 RPM, 1,200. Um, and I believe they still use a four-phase four design on the motor. So, I mean, take it for what it's worth. But supposedly these things are optimized. Here we go. Here's the air pressure. One point... And I do apologize, focusing here. 1.74 H2O. Now, if I remember correctly, I think that's about a little bit higher than what the SP120 Quad Editions were. So, 
Definitely decent. Uh, Noctua NFF-12s and the performance editions are closer to 3.0. So the higher number, the more pressure for water cooling. But anyway, guys, let me know if you guys like this kind of video. I'm not in front of the person, in front of the camera kind of person. So I'm not in front of the camera. I don't like being in front of the camera. Um, but, you know, I, I do have pretty good insight, I think. And uh, let me know if you guys like the style video. If so, my $4,000 build I'm working on for a friend of mine in the future, I'll unbox everything. That's going to have a Haswell i7. It's going to have two 780s, about a terabyte of SSD drives, 32 gigs of RAM. I'm uh, going to use NZXT 630 case. So it's going to have a lot of things involved in it. So let me know if you guys like it. And I will hopefully continue doing these videos. I am filming from a phone, so bear with me. I, I just don't have the technology. I do apologize. But anyway, guys. Thank you for your time as always. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let me know if you like this. And this is Steve signing out from PC Budget Solutions. Hey guys, I wanted to show you guys uh, just something really quick here. I'm running Prime 95 for about a half hour now, give or take. Uh, second hottest core, 76 degrees right here, because I put a... Um, put that down there. I put a fan replacing on my Hyper 212. I put, it, put one of these fans on the radiator. Um, and the temps about the Hyper 212 were about the same. The difference was, was here's the RPM. Now this says 60%, actually 100, because these are all faster. They'll go at 1200, uh, plus or minus 10%. Um, so about 310 RPM. And I'm getting the same temps instead of 2500. Big difference. Now here's one thing to note. Here's my clock speed, 4.5 gigahertz, 1.336 volts. I actually have it set in a bias for 1.35. Um, and my total wattage is eh, right about here, 117, give or take. So I'm happy. I wasn't looking for better performance. I was looking for quieter operation, and that's what I got. So performance-wise, probably about the same. However, unlike the other fans where I would hit 60, 70 degrees centigrade, it'd ramp up to 2,500 RPM. It was really loud. Uh, these things are really quiet. I probably have my graphics card over everything right now, so I'm definitely happy with that. So as always, guys, thank you for your time. Hopefully this helps you guys out with your decision on, on uh, fans. I would not recommend them for uh, standard case fans uh, because they are very pricey. Uh, but if you are looking to replace fans or add fans for a radiator, because I think that these will work well on a radiator for low RPM, um, and low fin array, I would definitely say go get them, but they're, they are on the price side. As I said, they're about 20 bucks a pop. So um, good fans, uh, really happy with them. And, um, you know, I definitely recommend and thank you guys for your time. Steve from PC Budget Solutions signing